wake up. Side coming at you, Michael Pickering here talking about our famous question, what's going on in the world today? And today we're doing it different, you know, there's always so much doom and gloom in the world, we talk about it all the time, it's like a messy Monday every Monday, but today we're switching it up. It's Good News Monday, people. And to the freshness, to the goodness, we go. And people are still playing video games out there, in case you did not know. The new Legend of Zelda sells 10 million copies in three days, which the cheapest I'm seeing online, 70 bucks. Meaning that the minimum profits from this three-day sales is somewhere in the neighborhood of $700 million. $700 million for Zelda, people. Never cry for Nintendo. They doing just fine over there. Video games. Mm-hmm. And then some sports magazine news. Martha Stewart goes on the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition of the magazine and becomes the oldest person to do so. You go, Martha Stewart. You go. Go ahead with yourself. I didn't even know Sports Illustrated Swimsuit magazine still existed. I didn't know magazines still existed. But yes, apparently they do. Next up, we're going to Taco Bell. Is fighting the good fight. And yes, I said Taco Bell. Is fighting the good fight for Taco Tuesday, which is trademarked. Did you know? Now you know. But Taco Bell is fighting to get it untrademarked so we can all enjoy our Taco Tuesdays and wear all our Taco Tuesday shirts, Taco Tuesday hats. You ever seen a Taco Tuesday hat in the shape of a taco? Mm -hmm, I bet you have. Taco Tuesdays, Taco Bell, love them or hate them, fighting the good fight. And did you hear about a man being indicted for stealing ruby slippers from the Wizard of Oz? So weird. Of all the things to steal in the world, ruby slippers by, from the Wizard of Oz. Anyway, anyway, anyway. And a really, really old holy book sells for $38 million because, yes, people are always looking to make money off of religion. $38 million for an old holy book. Now, back to sports and politics, because you know we always got to get our sports on people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Previous surfing champion Lucy Campbell says it's time for surfing to go green. Which, what the hell, people, this is so surprising to me, because if surfing isn't green, then that means all sports are bad for the environment, which means my disdain for sports is totally justified now. I feel so vindicated for not liking sports. Oh, JK, JK, though not JK at all. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the day. A little of that lo-fi local for you. You know, this past Friday was the University of New Orleans graduation, and I watched so so many of my people walk across that stage. So many of you, you beautiful lo-fi listeners out there. So many of those people who sign the tapestries that you always see for lo-fi poli -sci. So many of you who we love so much. And to all of you out there, keep in touch. Never let go. And always take my hand. And always remember that no matter where you go in the world, you are never alone. You are the we that we be. Much love. <laughs>